But I'm going to begin, guys, by asking him, is it one of those things where if you get a call from, well, not maybe directly from Steven Spielberg, but a call to say there's a part in the Steven Spielberg movie, do you almost just say yes off the bat or do you still have to find out like the character and the project? Or has is he, is he got that kind of, I don't know, um, is he that revered that you can almost just go, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that on? I think you can honestly say that I was speaking for both of us that if Steven Spielberg rings up, you say yes, and then you say, what is it? <laughs> yeah, then you might. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? And then no, you hey. might. And then you might. <laughs> then you might, yes. So, I mean, what, what's he like to, to collaborate with? Because, I mean, what, one thing he's always done is get kind of incredible performances from his, his actors. Well, I mean, what, what do you think it is about him as a director that allows for that to be the case? Because he allows them to do their own thing, mm. and he gives them enormous freedom so that... Um, uh, and is very appreciative of what you do, very, very um, um, helpful and, and encouraging. Mm. <clears throat> so you feel very free. So that's the way, on the whole, actors are best when they are allowed to, when they're not put in any stricture around them. Yeah, so trusted to do their job. Mm. Uh, Penelope, you play a kind of a version of, of Her Majesty. I mean, did you try and match the sensibilities of, of Queen Elizabeth, or did you treat this very much as a kind of fictional creation? No, no, I, I tried to be. Uh, give her a, a realistic um, our queen um, a few years ago uh, uh, feel because there's no point in meeting fantasy with fantasy because it then it cancels out any humour of making the real queen say rather extraordinary things. Uh, and you were made a dame quite recently of course, congratulations. Uh, did you Thank mention you. to the queen, oh by the way I'm playing you in a movie and there's this farting scene? No, no, I, I, I haven't met the Queen oh. yet for that. So I, 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 and she might mention it to me, who knows? <laughs> but, but that whole scene in the dinner hall at the, at the palace is my favourite scene mm -hmm. in the movie. I mean, it looks incredible to watch. Was it quite surreal to shoot? Because obviously you're dealing with a, a giant that wasn't actually there. Well, I assume he wasn't there. It was surreal to shoot because he had to be on a scaffolding so that our eyeline would be correct. And, but what was interesting about it was that it, he it, none of it happened in, in post, as it were. Like he, he he was still being covered like a regular movie, and he was still there acting with us. So the thing that I find really astonishing about it is that when I watch the film, I don't even though it looks completely different, I don't. I still sort of watch it and think, oh, I saw him do that. Mm. I remember when he made that choice. Yes. Which is odd, given that it's entirely animated. It's still completely Mark Rylance. Yes. And was it's that entirely his face? Yeah. yeah and all his little nuances on his face. But there are lots of like large things lying around, because I imagine obviously, were they all CGI'd, the props? Obviously he has his own kind of bag or something, like that. were you yes, sort of walking around? Yes, he had an enormous bag. There were a lot of large mm. things. The, the, but the scene, the place was large, and it's yes. like they made it look exactly like one of the rooms the ballroom in, in the ballroom in Buckingham Palace, mm. to scale. So it was vast, the set was vast. I think the rug, was yes. it the carpet? We was were the very impressed the by that, yes, it was as big as a football pitch. And there were all the pictures of the royal family yeah. around the walls, you know, Queen Victoria and everybody. And so, the breakfast stuff w really happened. Yeah. I mean, they came out with huge stacks of toast. Yes, and eggs, fried eggs. <laughs> I went home and had fried eggs straight away after that. Really, I was so tempted. And did you, I'm just wondering, I mean, when you make a film of this nature, it must be so fun because you can share this with all of your, your family. I mean, obviously, you know, whether it be grandchildren, nieces, nephews. Mm. I mean, it must mm. be quite nice that you can make a film that has that kind of ability to, to just share with anyone, I guess. Oh, yes, and people are so excited. I mean, young people yeah. are more excited and far less cynical, so it's a joy. I have a lot of nieces and nephews. They're all coming tomorrow. I'm very, they're very excited. <laughs> yes. they've, been, they've been informing me about all the frocks they've bought. And everything. Yes, there's been a great <laughs> talk about what to wear. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, uh, Rebecca, you've got a film coming out that I'm really excited about. It's The, the Dinner. Uh -huh. I was just wondering I mean, how you fit into that character and has it all been kind of wrapped yet? Is, it, is that finished? It's all wrapped. I haven't seen any of it yet. They're in post-production. Uh, I'm going in to do some ADR next week, so I'll see a little peek of it for the first time. Um, I, I, I'm not really in the book. I don't okay. know, did you read the book? I haven't it's read based the book, on no, a, but I'm on a, going to. On a book, which is very good. So, but it's slightly different. They've sort of, they've made up a character in a way, but it does take, it does pretty much entirely take place over one dinner um, and four people around the dinner table. It must be quite freeing not being a character from the book in some ways. Yeah, yeah. I, I sort of lucked out, I think. But I, I don't think any, I think a lot of it, there was a lot of, um, I mean, it's already a, a translation, you know, from a different language. So there was a, a certain amount of let's do a sort of American version of it. Brilliant. Well, thanks so much for your time today. Much appreciated. Thank you. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice.